Hey everyone, Professor Hank back here with you once again. And today we're going to take a look at global versus local variables in Python functions and how we can use the global keyword. If you've ever been confused about why a variable wasn't updating the way you expected it to, this video is for you. So let's get into it. So in Python, variables have something called scope and scope defines where they can be accessed or modified. So let's Break it down by seeing an example. So let's say that I create a variable called x equals 10. This is going to be a global variable. And after that, I'm going to define a function called my function. And in the body of that function, I'm going to create a local variable, which I'll call y. And then I'll print out little statement here inside function y equals and then i'll simply print out the contents of y and then inside function x equals and then i'll print out the contents of x then after that i will call my function and i will then print outside function x equals x so in this case, y is the local variable and x is the global variable because x is defined outside the function. y is local because it's defined inside the function. So trying to access y outside the function would cause an error. So if we run this, you're going to see inside the function y equals 5, inside the function x equals 10, outside function x equals 10. So x can be accessed both from within the function and outside of the function. Now if I tried to access y, so outside function y equals, like I said, we're going to see an error here. Right, so here is our message error. Name y is not defined because the scope of y is function my function. So we can only use y within that function. So it doesn't exist outside of the function. So that's why we got that error. Now, what if you want to modify a global variable from inside a function? Let's try that. So we'll call a function or we'll write a function called update x. And then inside of update x, we'll say x equals x plus five. Now this will cause an error too, right? Now, if we try to update that, then we'd print that out. And then if I call this, you're going to see that this will cause an error as well. See where it says right here, unbound local error cannot access local variable X where it is not associated with a value. So Python thinks that you're trying to create a new local variable called X, but then you try to use it before it's actually defined. So if we want to tell Python to use the global variable X, we have to use the global keyword. So we're going to add something like this. We're going to say global X. So what this does is this tells Python, you know, I want to, the X that I'm referring to here is going to be the one that's global. It's going to be this guy right here. It's going to be the X variable that is outside of the update X function definitions. So if we then try to print outside function X equals, this is going to work. So we can have a link or we have a link from update X to the global variable. So then we will increase X by five, print that out when we call the function. And then after we come back from the function, we're able to print out the contents of the X variable, that global X variable here as well. So let's see that. So 15 and 15. So now it works by declaring global X. We're telling Python, I want you to use and modify the X defined outside the function. So when should you use global? Well, the global keyword is very powerful, but it should be used carefully. Why? Because modifying global variables from many places can make your code hard to debug. If you need to share data between functions, consider using function parameters or return values instead. So here's an alternative demonstrating what we mean there. So let's not have a global variable because global variables are generally bad. And we will include a function update value, the single parameter, and then we'll say val equals val plus five, and then return val. So we do x equals 10, x equals update value x, and then we print x after update. So this is going to avoid using global variables, but we still end up able to update that x. So when we run this, you can see x after the update. This is cleaner. This is safer, especially 
when you have larger programs. So to sum it up, you want to use local variables whenever you can. You want to use global variables sparingly, and you use the global keyword only when absolutely necessary. Understanding scope is a key step in writing clear and maintainable code. So that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. As usual, if you're still in mind, you have questions about the content of this video or any of the videos in our courses, feel free to email me via Canvas or stop by our Zoom office hours. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.